Hey everyone, it's Marcus from the Barkman Branch Library. Uh, thanks for joining us for our March and April art challenge. This time we're going to be doing the power of words. So using words and letters like as a visual medium, like arranging them in ways um, that are like visually appealing and gives them a little more power than just being, you know, words on a page. So um, I'm going to give you a few examples of how you can go about doing that. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you can do is take like a quote or a poem or just any saying or combination of words that you like and arrange them in a way that's almost like a collage. Like you're using like the arrangement and the size of the letters to make like a visual piece. So what I did here is uh, one of my favorite quotes uh, is this poem. Uh, do not go gentle to that good night, rage, rage against the dying of the light. Um, so I did some brainstorming on this page. And uh, yeah, you don't have to get it right the first time. Sometimes you want to kind of, you know, get your ideas down on paper, see them for yourself on the page and see what looks good. So um, first thing what I did was basically just make these three words big and then do like in between. Um, that's good, but it's a little too orderly for me, and there's a bunch of pictures online where it's arranged like this. I wanted something that's a little more, like, messy and emotional, like, rage against the dying of the light. So, uh, what I did first was I tried to put the letters rage, and then try to arrange the words so it kind of spells out rage. And that was kind of cool, but, uh, I thought it was a little too all over the place, so... This is what I did next, is I kind of made it go diagonally and then put it that way, and that makes it almost kind of go back and forth like a, like a zigzag, and I think that's a really cool uh, composition. And then I tried to include um, the first part of uh, the quote on top, and I don't know if I care for that, so I'm going to ax that, and we're just going to go with that one. So, yeah, that's kind of all my brainstorming, and then I decided on that one being the best. So that's what we're gonna use. So let me show you how I would go about actually doing that. So I thought because it's rage against the dying of the light, it would probably be like light on dark. So I'm gonna do like white paint on, uh, this is just black construction paper. It should be fine. It might curl up a little bit. If you have like a black canvas or something, that'd be awesome. But uh, I didn't wanna go that fancy with this. Uh, it's just like an example. So we're going to use uh, white acrylic paint, a paintbrush, doesn't have to be anything fancy, this is just a little tiny brush. Uh, and then I have like a drop of water in this cup that I'm going to mix with the paint to make it a little thinner so it kind of runs a bit more like ink. So let me go ahead and get that mixed. I'm just gonna use the brush itself to mix. That's nice. See how it kind of flows, because I want to be, I want this to be like ink, because I want it to be easy to write with. It's a little thicker than ink, but it almost looks like white out, but that's pretty good consistency. So, yeah, using my uh, brainstorming page, Let's go ahead and I'm probably gonna do the big letters first. And I want this to be kind of messy on purpose. Um, I don't wanna be so messy that you can't read it, but uh, I really want it to be like, like it was just scribbled on there almost by someone with like a lot of emotion. That should be good. Okay. So next, um, I'm gonna try to get a little less paint on there so I can kind of get thinner with the letters. 
Jesus. I'm not being too fancy, I just want it to be legible. This, these big letters to kind of be the focus. So. I find that when you're writing letters with a paintbrush, um, it's not always gonna be exactly how you would write with a pen, like how I just did the S. Usually I would write, you know, top to bottom with pen, but it's a little hard to get the bristles to work with you that way, so I kinda just like do like little strokes at a time. But you find whatever way works for you. Be a little trick because I don't want to get my hand on the paint here. Be a little, uh, it's also a little tricky because you're uh, trying to judge the distance between the first letter and the last letter. You usually wouldn't have to do that when you're writing, but uh, what we could do is just go backwards. Here's where I have to make a decision. I need to leave a whole lot of room on the side of the E for the word light. What I could do is put it down here. Or I can just try to work it in here somehow. Oh, sometimes you have to plan ahead a little better than this, but we can make it work. Uh, let's do... I think it looks better down here, honestly. So let's go. That's pretty cool, actually. So what I think I'm gonna do is put a few like little drops of paint around here. Like almost like it dripped off in a few areas. Make it look a little messier. Instead of trying to fake it, just go for the real thing. 
I just got paint all over myself. <laughs> it's all right. after this, but I got a little carried away with that. Anyways, oh no, it's all over my shirt. It's okay, it'll come out, hopefully. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, um, hmm. Sometimes it's up for the, uh, the viewer to decide if, what their interpretation is. Um, sometimes you just throw things at the wall and see if they stick. But uh, that's, kind of what I would do, like, making this into, making this quote into, like, a visual piece. So that's one example. Uh, other examples are, let me be a little quicker, but, um, another one is, instead of making, like, a sentence or a quote, you can just use words and make them, like, a little, like, um, there's a word for this. It's a Calligram, I think, like calligraphy kind of, or like, you know, gram, like picture. So uh, you can arrange words into like, it doesn't even have to be like a shape or a picture, but you can. There's a lot of art out there that's like a face or or, or something you want to um, make the words look like. But uh, for this, I just picked a bunch of words and just kind of arranged them big, small, up, down, and kind of just... I just felt it as, as I wrote them. And um, that's one way you can do it. And then another one, this is really cool actually, is um, something called blackout poetry. And that is you can take a newspaper or a book, a book that you're okay cutting up, and cut out like a little piece of an article or a passage or a paragraph, whatever. And what you'll do is look for some words on here. Let me get this close to the camera, yeah. And you're gonna take those words and dark out everything else and make it into like a poem. So what I'm gonna do is get my big marker, which is in here somewhere. And we'll just use this. Might be a little hard to see way down here on the camera, but um, I'm gonna choose during darkest days. So I'm gonna black out this. During darkest days. Black out everything here. For hope um, avoid yeah and then uh, once you've done that you can kind of fill in the rest so that people only focus on the words that you didn't black out Usually better to do this with like a thicker marker, but like I usually say, you work with what you got. Okay, so I just turned that news article into a poem, basically. During darkest days, offer hope, avoid the ashes of old. That might uh, be a little more meaningless than <laughs> I'd like it to be, but um, 
I mean, I'm sure you can find some uh, some profound meaning meaning in that poem. I kind of like it, but uh, yeah, you can um, you don't have to just pick a random uh, article or paragraph. You can look around for like ones that have the words you want and then black it out like that. But uh, yeah, that's another cool example of using words as a visual medium. So everything's still covered in white paint, but um, yeah, those are a few examples of how you can use words visually. So um, yeah, show us uh, your ideas, show us what you make, and uh, we're really looking forward to this one, see what you guys create. So yeah, show us, um, ask us any questions if you need to, um, share with your friends. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Have fun, take care, and have a good one.